Uh, welcome to the Engineering Geology Lab. Uh, this map uh, you are familiar with. I have already submitted some videos on this map. Many of you have solved this, but uh, some problems have uh, cropped up and reported to me about the thickness of the rock, especially the sandstone and showing the underground are showing the rocks below unconformity. So I have uh, tried to uh, solve this map for you. Um, you have already drawn strike lines. I have already drawn strike lines in this map. You can see that I have drawn strike line, many strike lines I have drawn. I can use any two. So I am using these two strike lines of 300 and 200 which is on the upper contact of mud stone. I have selected this very contact for drawing two strike lines. I have drawn many strike lines. I have numbered them. One strike line can have two different values. For example, this strike line has got 400 contour value for lower contact of shale and 600 for upper contact of shale. This tells you that this rock is 200. You can see this 300 strike line is cutting the rock mud stone at 200 and 300. The thickness of this rock is 100. Similarly, the thickness of silt stone can be worked out from here, where the strike line has got value of 400 for lower contact and 600 for upper contact. So this rock is also 200. For sandstone, we are not getting any strike line which cuts both the contact. The strike line of 200 is on the lower contact of the sandstone, but it is not touching the upper contact. The strike line of 500 is on upper contact of sandstone, but it is not touching the lower contact of the sandstone. Here something which is very important is that the upper contact of sandstone is going like this. See here. Up to this point, it is exposed on the ground. To this point it is exposed on the ground after that it has gone inside the rock silt stone and clay stone if at all it is left from erosion if at all it is left from erosion someone has tried to work out the thickness of sandstone from here see this is a strike contour line of 300 so this is a point of 300 and this is the point of 400 so some of the students have said that the thickness of sandstone is 100 meter. No, it is not correct because this is not a contact of sandstone. Ye lower, ye upper contact sandstone ka hai hi nahi. This is a lower contact of silt stone only. You can say, and this is also an unconformity surface. This is a contact, lower contact of silt stone. It has nothing to do with the sandstone. Ye sandstone ka definitely lower contact hai. Ye contact sandstone ka definitely lower contact hai. Lower contact pe jo aapki 300 ki strike line hai, wo bhi thik hai. That is also correct. But this is not the upper contact of sandstone. This is the erosional surface in fact for the sandstone. So getting 100 meter thickness is not correct. But the problem is that we are not getting any common strike line for working out the thickness of sandstone. The problem is that uh, sandstone is too much thick. It is too much thick and it is not coming along one strike line. We have to have some indirect method to work out the thickness of the sandstone. What that indirect method is that I will explain you here. In a rough diagram, suppose there is a rock, there is a surface, there is a rock with two contacts. What do we want to know is the real thickness of the rock from the map. You see this is the upper contact of the rock, this is the lower contact of the rock. We can work out the height here, we can work out the height here. If we can work out this depth, if we can work out this depth, from any control from the ground. Koi controlling factor hume ground se mil jaye. Is contact ki height hume pata hai. Agar hume iska slope ka gradual dip malum ho jaye. To hum iske niche aake yahaan ki known value se hum isko work out kar sakte hai. 
okay so if i can draw a strike line on lower contact and come below exactly below the known height of the upper contact we can work out the thickness other way is that from this slope if we can project this contact on the top of the ground then this point is known to me i can work out the thickness of this rock so this is the indirect method so that indirect method i am trying to explain you by drawing strike lines so if you can see i have drawn a strike line of 300 meters here on the upper contact sorry lower contact of the sandstone this is 300 strike line then i have got another strike line of 200 that means the contact is inclined like this this is the point of 300 and this is the point of 200 and this is the point of 300 if i can come down here this contact will be at 100 meters we are going downward so if we project that lower contact somewhere here it will be at 100 meters it will be it is projected it will be at 100 meter where the upper contact is already on the 500 meters so that means the thickness is 400 meters of this sandstone the thickness is 400 meter of the sandstone what i have done i have used the gradual inclination with the help of a strike line of lower contact to get the value of this strike line for lower contact which has come to be 100 and upper contact is already on 500 meter elevation the difference is the thickness i can go in reverse order also means i have got the upper contact which is at 400 meters here if you can see this is at 400 meters here sorry 300 meters here this is the contour of 300 then we have got this at 400 meters here it is at 500 meters here it is there at 500 meter from up to this point we have got 300 400 500 now this contact is like this this was 300 this was 400 this was 500 at what level will be it will it be here <coughs> it will be at 600 meters here so this level will be at 600 meters for upper contact of sandstone the lower contact is already at 200 meters that means the thickness of this rock is 400 meters you can work out from upper to lower contact or from lower to upper contact okay so the thickness of sandstone is 400 meter this may we we may have to use <clears throat> now to work out indirectly the thickness of sandstone from the drawing i have made this xy section x dash xx dash section yahan pe maine xx dash section banaya hai isiliye ki humko सैंडस्टोन की पूरी थिकनेस मिल जाए हमने ऐसा सेक्शन लिया विच इज ऑलमोस्ट परपेंडिकुलर टू दी स्ट्राइक लाइन एंड कवरिंग ऑलमोस्ट ऑल दी सैंड स्टोन आई हैव फोल्डेड दिस मैप अलॉन्ग दिस पॉइंट आई हैव केप्ट इट लाइक दिस आई हैव ट्रांसफर्ड द कंटूर आफ्टर ट्रांसफरिंग कंटूर आई हैव मेड अ प्रोफाइल आफ्टर ड्राइंग प्रोफाइल आई हैव टेकन द डिप ऑफ लोअर सीरीज एंड द डिप ऑफ अपर सीरीज सी हेयर i have taken the dip of lower series and upper series and then i have transferred all the contacts according to their dip <coughs> so if you see the sandstone which is coming here completely it is upper and lower contact both are coming in fact all the rocks are coming if you measure the thickness of sandstone the perpendicular distance between the two contact this is exactly 400 this is exactly 400 meters coming in drawing also and that we have worked out from the map also so this is a very simple section i have made a section which is almost perpendicular to the strike line of lower series and we have got the thickness of the rock and everything here except the rock clay stone all the rocks are there you can see the unconformity also which is there now i want to ex ask you a problem that if i am drilling a drill hole here at this very point what will be the rock sequence in this drill hole can we predict the presence of different layers of the rock at this very point so for this what i have done the strike lines are already drawn i have simply taken a section 
which is coming closer to the drill hole which is coming closer to the drill hole i have drawn i have transferred the contours after transferring contours i have made profile after making profile i have transferred the angle of dips depending upon the section cutting the two sets of straight line that is of upper series as well as of lower series from this dip i have made all the contacts inclined parallel to the individual dip of the individual series so if you can see this map up to this very point up to this very point if you move on the ground agar aap ground pe chal rahe hain point y se leke point y dash tak so up to this very point you are getting sandstone below your foot after that you have crossed the unconformity you are going to other rocks the sandstone may or may not be present below the unconformity that we have to see and check now see when i have drawn this <coughs> i got the lower contact of sandstone here lower contact of sandstone here but could not get the upper contact so i know that the thickness from the map is 400 so what i have done i have taken 4 cm from here i have taken 4 cm from here and i have drawn this concealed contact i have drawn this concealed contact this is the limit of the upper sandstone which is 400 meter thick i cannot show it more than 400 though i have lot of space here so the upper contact is just below the unconformity which cannot be seen from the ground after sandstone we have got another rock that is clay stone the thickness of clay stone we have already worked out is 200 meters so from here the whatever space is left i have taken 2 cm from here so i have got another contact here you see i have i have found out the upper and lower contact of clay stone which was not clay stone but sorry this is shale which was concealed you see i have drawn the shale also and there is a little place left a very little place left this must be the conglomerate this must be the conglomerate though very little so if i am drilling a hole here suppose this conglomerate has got diamond deposit just for example if i drill a hole here i will get little conglomerate and we may also get a little diamond also okay so this is the solution this is the complete solution below unconformity there will be some rock and we have to correctly find out that what rocks there may be present for that we have to work out this underground structure okay hope this must be clear to you and this will help you in resolving your other sections thank you thanks to moin saab and rehan sadik saab for supporting me in making this video